John. John, nice to meet you. Yeah. All right, so normally we would talk about anything that you want to talk about. I just have a hobby I set up in five minutes, talk about whatever you want. Oh, five just minutes. Just to show, you know, <laughs> it's important to have, like, the face-to-face. Yeah. I think we're living in a generation where this becomes the more of the means. I agree. Anyway, so, like, you want to talk about your skateboard evolution? Are you a skateboarder yourself? Yeah, you know, I used to skateboard when I was younger, and then, uh, you know, after college, I actually just kind of kept one in my trunk for a while. Okay, okay. And every okay. now and then, I'd get it out, and... I haven't in a while. I had a skateboard that had the 80s design. Yeah. That had like the flip on the back. Yes. But not the flip in the front. Yeah. And then I saw the double flip and I'm like, oh, that's way better than yeah. anything I would have got. So yeah. like, what is, why does that motivate you? Or like, what's the history behind that? Well, the truth be told, <laughs> I just bought this shirt off the rack because I thought it looked cool. But, okay. But I have some history in it. Yeah. I, um. Yeah, it's just kind of fun just seeing how they go. Like, you it know, is kind of cool. The Michael J. Fox, like, you know, skateboard, skate, like, skates, like, s- nailed to, like, a plywood board. Yeah, I bet those wheels <laughs> probably weren't the polyurethane stuff they got now. No. And, and they're the wider board. apart, too, more stable. Yeah. Yeah, so, and then, you know, now it's full freestyle. You can do kinds of tricks. And... Help me out. If yeah. you didn't, if you didn't skateboard, yeah. and you saw, and you saw that shirt, would you still buy it? I would, because it was soft. <laughs> <laughs> so if someone else wore that shirt and was like, nah, I don't skateboard, I just wear this because I was soft, would that be totally cool? Or would you be like, hey, you're a faker? Hey, you know what? Back when I skateboarded, yeah? if I would have saw, yeah, I would probably have been, I called a poser or a faker, yeah. There are people that buy um, t-shirts for bands, yeah. or like band albums, just because the album looks really, really cool. And they'd be like, yeah. oh, yeah, Six Days from Grace. And they're like, no, Smash Mouth, right? Like, yeah. I don't listen, I don't I like support the artist. Stuff. I the just artwork. I just like the shirt. I just yeah. like the shirt. Is it cool? Is it cool to just like things, just without having like the culture behind it? No, absolutely. There's there's a, a whole number of things in this world that I admire, but I don't know that I'll ever have the time mm. uh, to really appreciate. Like on the the uh, uh, I don't know the interactive level, I suppose. Like you know, I, I tried with guitar, man. I, I really really love guitar, and I just I. I try to put in the time, and I just cannot. It just is not taking. Um, but I, I, I still listen to guitar. I still yeah. see people play it, and, and not just the music, but I admire the craft, the effort that they put into it. Nice, you know? nice. I can, like respect that. I, can, I can respect that. Yeah, do you have any any examples? I really love I really love guitar, but yeah. if I were to try to do something, maybe you can't put stand-up comedy on a T-shirt. <laughs> really. Like, yeah. you can put some good jokes, but, like, the craft behind telling a good joke. Like, I've listened to enough comedians where I'm like, yeah, like this guy's really working on it, whereas this guy's literally just saying the first thing that comes out of his head. Sure. I wish there was a way you can represent that in t-shirts. And I've done some open mics yeah. once in a while, and they were, they were okay. Yeah. But it only made me appreciate it more, like the actual good people who do it. It's kind of yeah. like you and the guitar thing. Yeah. And if I saw someone wearing like my favorite comedian on a t-shirt, I'd be like, yeah, that guy. <laughs> that guy. Like, I don't know. It's just a soft shirt. I'd be like, yeah. take that shirt off right now. Take it off. <laughs> <laughs> Although what's funny for me is that when I see the stand-up comedians that, like, are really good, yeah. I don't want to know that it's, like, the hundredth time they told the joke and they, like, oh. burst out each individual word and, like, pause, you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to think it's, like, just coming out freestyle, you know? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like when I found out wrestling was fake. Like, there was, <laughs> was a show on NBC called The Last Comic Standing. Yeah. yeah. And when I was like, oh, a stand-up show, jokes every night, yeah. awesome. But it was the same routine each time. Yeah. I was like... Oh, <laughs> they're just saying the same thing over and over. Yeah, again. Recycled but they're material. working on it. And I'm like, yeah. I get it. That's why they mean when you stole my joke. Yeah, <laughs> there are some comedians who could do like jokes anytime they want, and there's definitely like artists that can like play whatever they want on their solo like twenty four seven. And then skateboarders, I'm sure, just float tricks until it's out. Yeah, you got the savants out there that can just do it. Yeah, yeah. all we can do is just support them with the t-shirts. That's right. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for the chat. <laughs> yeah, wonderful day, right? <laughs> yeah, it really yeah, is. I do miss the rain. No. I don't. I'm no, actually kind of glad. I'm a, I could use more days like this. Yeah, for sure. We don't get many. <laughs> Take care. See ya. Bye. So, hi, my name's Ty, and welcome to my channel. It's called Let's Chat. Here, any two people can talk about whatever they want to talk about. Topics range from things like uh, sciences, pop culture, even religion. The technique that I use in my talk is called street epistemology. And street epistemology is a great way for any two people to have a conversation about something they deeply care about without having the conversation turn into an argument or debate. It keeps the participants open and willing to gain insight from each other. And if you like stuff like this, 
please check out this channel. Just like and subscribe, whatever you gotta do. I don't know the names for the things, but it, just hang around. It would be really cool to have you guys uh, be with me on this journey. Anyway, see ya. Thank you.